Hey there and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video we're going to be talking about Hedera Hashgraph, HBAR. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please go down below, hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Just recently I broke over a thousand subscribers, so thank you to all the new subscribers. I I really appreciate you watching my videos and supporting the channel. Let's get into this. So on the weekly time frame for Hedera Hashgraph, HBAR, I'm very bullish on this project. I have been a fan of HBAR since the beginning. Uh, they've got a really good team. They've got a really good project going on. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that it's got a lot of potential for the future, plus all the partnerships that they're getting and whatnot. Uh, but another thing we can look at here is on the weekly time frame, we had a lot of resistance back in this area over here. And finally, when we broke above this resistance, we had a nice blast uh, to the upside here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, that blast took us up um, a good, 12, almost 1,200% 12 uh, move. So that's a pretty good move once we broke above that. Well, now that we've broken above it, we're coming all the way back down and we're retesting it as support. And we've hit it just recently, a couple of weeks ago. We hit the support perfectly at the 618, as you can see right here. Uh, again, hit it again, and now we're slowly moving our way to the upside. And um, another good sign is, is the trend directional looks like it's about to print another green dot here, and we're getting a smaller waveform. So we had a, when, when we had this large fall to the downside, we had a large waveform. And now we're continuing to fall, but it's not as much. And so we're getting a divergence, um, a bullish divergence on the trend directional here. And another place we're getting a bullish divergence, if you can see, we've got a low here and a lower low here. But if you go to the RSI, and this is going to be very tight. <clears throat> Let's put this here. You can see that we barely, just barely, have a lower low right here and a higher low over here. I mean, you can barely even see it, but it's there. And so we do have a bullish divergence forming on the weekly time frame, both on the trend directional and on the RSI. And uh, we are holding support at the 618 Fibonacci, which also happens to be previous resistance, uh, hopefully now turning into support. And so my expectation is that we are going to get a nice move here in the next couple of weeks, I believe. Uh, to the upside. I think we're going to come up and probably run into this 20 EMA right here and um, find some resistance right there. But getting all the way up to that area right there, just from where we're at, I mean, you're looking at, you know, almost a 30% move uh, to get to that area. And also, if we put a line here for resistance, we are forming a bit of a wedge. Um, and so there's still plenty of time for this to dance around. But I do think in the next few weeks, uh, based on this, on the divergences happening, based on the support that we're holding right now, and based on market sentiment, I think the Fed is uh, going to start easing up uh, on their interest rate hikes. And so it's going to probably be a 50 basis points this next time around, which is really good for the markets. Um, and so there's a lot of good things happening. And plus, we're getting into a new year. Uh, so I do expect a good move from a lot of crypto coming up. And also HBAR is included in that. Let's go down to the 12 hour time frame. <clears throat> and let's see here. So one thing I see on the 12 hour time frame is we are forming another pattern here. So we've got resistance forming right there. And then we've got a support line forming right around here, roughly. And so what I can see in the shorter term is I do believe that there is a chance that we do come down, retest this as support and then kind of dance around here and get the breakout right around this area. So if you're looking to long H bar, oh, and plus the trend directional on the 12 hours pointing to a downwards momentum, we've got two red dots right here. Uh, I do believe that there's a very good chance that we fall, probably I think it's like three and a half percent. Oh, no, 4% down to this trend line right here. And um, so if you're looking to short, you can you know short down there. I don't know if I'd do that. But if you're looking to find a good long position, wait till it comes down to this trend line right here and open up your long, and then that would, and then you know, put your stop loss somewhere down below. I don't want to tell you how to trade, but um, you know, it does look like we got a little ways to go down in the short term. But in the long term, it does look like we got a nice move to the upside coming. 
And the target for this uh, specific pattern here would bring us above this resistance line that I've got here. So we've got this resistance line that I put up. And this would actually break us right out of it. And that move from, let's just say, the very bottom where I said to put a long in would give you a nice 28 to 30% move uh, out of there. So if you do get that long at that spot right there, and you get that 28 to 30 percent move i mean i'd be happy with that i might actually look into opening one there and so just pay attention to that for the short term probably dropping a little bit but in the long term um i think in the next few weeks we're probably gonna have a decent breakout to the upside with hbar anyway that's all i got for hbar if you like this video please subscribe to the channel really appreciate all of you and just remember not a financial advisor just a dude on his computer talk to you later